Okay, hi there. Um, this is my first uh, video, not really. I've, I've been fooling with this camera for I can't tell you how long. <laughs> uh, anyway, I have to make a video because I'm taking lessons at the Apple Store. What I'm going to do is make a uh, watercolor card. And the supplies that you're going to need are watercolor paper. And I used um, this, Canson. Uh, watercolor. It's um, 140 pound and it's a pad and it's relatively inexpensive and you can just you know pull the sheets out. It's sheets. It's not it's not a block. Um, you're going to need some double-sided tape. You can use scotch or this or or this. Um, this kind? What is this? I don't know. Score tape. Okay. You're going to need some Tombow markers in uh, five or six colors. And I like to use this Stadler Permanent Lumo Color marker for my outline. And it's a size S and it's got a really nice uh, tip on it. I like that. You can use a water brush or you can use um, a watercolor paintbrush. And I also use uh, Grumbacher watercolor paints and that's a set of 24 and they're about $30. They're not that expensive. I really like them. They come in um, opaque and um, transparent. And I couldn't tell you which is which, but I really like these. So I have a set of each. Um, what else you need is a little piece of scratch paper. And uh, so that's a card we're going to make. And here's some others that, that I've made. There we go. And these are just the uh, card fronts. I'll glue these down to a card later. I like to do it this way because if I mess up, uh, I don't waste a whole card. Okay. And that's just the, the card that I cut out. I cut the paper into, uh, I think it's uh, six and three eighths by five and a half, something like that. But uh, whatever kind of cards you buy, you just want to go in about a quarter of an inch smaller. You could do more than that, whatever suits you. So anyway, that's what I do. Okay, so here we go. Let's put this stuff aside. And we're going to keep this really simple. Um, I keep this little scratch paper because the markers, uh, the caps aren't true to color. So I like to keep this handy so I can see what color that is. So this is pink and let's see. And here comes my husband. You're going to be on YouTube if you come in here. <laughs> and it's a free free form. Here he comes. He's very brave. It's a free form sketch. I have to have this done for my Apple appointment tomorrow. Okay. And this really looks like a mess, but you'll see how it's real easy to do. <laughs> and you just scribble in there. And let's see. There we go. Make a stem. I did a whole entire video and deleted it. Your finger's bleeding down your hand. I like mm -hmm. to use two color greens. Gives a little more interest. And then we're going to just put a leaf on here. I always work with odd numbers, so you'll see the petals. There's five petals. Put a little bit of a different green in there. 
My Apple appointment's at 8 o'clock in the morning. Mm. I should have done this earlier. So then I'm going to use a water, uh, water brush. And uh, I don't know the name of this, but it says it's made in Japan. I think it's an aqua something. And if you use a water brush, you need a paper towel to clean the color. You can tell I was using yellow before this. So you squeeze this a little bit until the water comes out and it runs clear. And then you know you're good to go. Uh, if you don't like a water brush or you don't have one, you can use a watercolor brush with some water. Here we go, we're all set. Okay, so now that I drew my simple flower, I'm going to paint it with the water brush until it just starts to like melt and it gets real pretty. And if you feel like you didn't put enough paint on there, you can go back and put more paint on, but don't do it when it's wet. Wait till it dries a little bit. So you can layer this. You can add another color on top if you want to, but I'm going to keep this really simple. Okay. My husband's sitting here watching us. Okay. See how pretty that looks? It looks like real watercolor paint. I guess it is real watercolor paint in a marker. These are my favorite markers right now. I also do these cards with pit pens. Um, the big brush, I like those too. Uh, and maybe I'll show you how I use those in another video. But right now I'm using watercolor paper, so I like to use these uh, Tombow markers. Okay, look, see how pretty that looks? And you can, you know, you can go outside the line and make it look a little bit more, you know, like a real watercolor painting would be. And as this dries, you're going to see little, I don't know what that is, but it reminds me of real watercolor uh, painting. So now I'm, I've just did pink. Now I want to go over and do the green. So I'm going to have to clean, clean the brush. You just squeeze it a little bit until it runs clear so you know it's good. And then you can just do the next part. I am applying a little pressure to the tube as I paint. Just a little. You'll get the hang of it uh, if you're going to use this. As I said, you don't have to. You could use a regular paintbrush. But I like this because I, I take I take my um, container, um, then I have all my markers, and I take it out in the yard. Um, so it makes it really easy. And I have a clipboard. I just paint on a clipboard. So see how look at that green. Is that gorgeous or what? Green's my favorite color. Okay. So there you have it. All right. See how easy that is. All right, now we're gonna let let that uh, dry a little bit. You never want to put um, a color next to a color if the color's still wet. So the pink is dry. If this stuff dries pretty fast, we're going to use orange in the center. I like bright colors. Okay, we're just gonna. And I always leave my pens that I'm working, you see I have a lot of colors, but I always leave the ones that I'm actually working with, I leave them out on the table. Um, so I don't wind up using the wrong color. Okay, so that's that. Now clean it. Okay. And that's pretty dry. So I'm going to put yellow on the background. And I'm going to use two different yellows. And this is my this is my favorite go-to yellow. And I'm going to do a little bit of a section at a time. I like to use the pen. I should say I like to apply the water to the color 
while it's fairly, and I'm just going to kind of rub that on, while it's fairly wet. Okay, fresh. Freshly put down. It just blends, it just blends so much nicer. Now look at that. Now I'm not going to get super duper close to that, that leaf because I don't want it to bleed. If, if I get water on that green, it's going to reactivate and it's going to, it's going to bleed. And I don't want it to do that. So I get close, but you don't have to go right up to it. Okay, see how pretty that looks? All right. Let's do some more. Well, this is the darker one. We're going to do the lighter one. Okay, I'm not real careful. That's what I love about this. It's, it's very freeing. Okay. Put a little bit of this just to give it a little a little zing and get that water right on there. Okay. Isn't that pretty? I like it. Okay. Let me just keep doing this. This will only take another minute. Okay. I always put the caps back on when I'm not using it. If I get interrupted, I walk away. My pen will dry out. Okay. Oh, I love that. Okay. Let's flip it around. Oops, I keep grabbing for that darker one first. I just want to put the lighter one on first. Just want hints of the darker color. Okay. And as this dries, it, it's, it, it just has these, I don't know, the colors start to like puddle. Isn't that cool? Alright, I like it. And I'm just going to just try to get a little closer. Okay, that's it. Now you got to let it really dry. Okay, dry, dry, dry. dries pretty fast. Look, see, I think it's dry. All right, it looks like it's dry. So now what I'm going to do is um, use my marker that I showed you earlier, the Stadler Permanent Marker. It's my favorite marker. And I'm going to doodle. I'm going to put some outlines. And you can do a single, single line, like in this one. Or, let me find one. You can do a double, you can do a double line. Okay, you can do whatever you want, and then we're going to just doodle. This one I went a little crazy. I got another marker. What marker did I use? I used this one. Uh, the pit pens I used and uh, did that. That was fun. They're all different. No two are alike. Okay, so here we go. Hope my big head's not in the way. And don't be, you know, don't make yourself crazy. Just draw. If it's not exactly straight, it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be exact. I try not to stop in the middle of the line. Oops, I just went over something there. But I don't worry about it if I do. And then I'm just going to do this. We'll circle in the middle and um, then I'm going to outline that, the stem. Now if you want you could, if you make your stems thick enough, you could actually write some words on the stem. Our journalers do that. That's kind of nice. 
Okay, it depends on what you're going to do with the card, I guess. Okay. All right, now once I've just got my basics, um, I decide do I want to put double lines or not. This one we're going to keep it simple. We're just going to leave the single line. And now we're going to do some doodling. Okay. And if you want some ideas for some doodling, you can go on Pinterest. There's tons of ideas there. And I just it just gives it a little excitement, a little, little interest. Okay. And then we're gonna do something in the center here. Let's see. We're gonna do some straight lines. Isn't that cute? Okay. And then I always do something with my leaves. And nothing's perfect. That's the beauty of it. Okay, now that's real simple and I've left enough room um, for you to uh, write a sentiment over here. Happy birthday. Um, get well soon, whatever. You can write a little poem. You can use this pen or you could also use stamps, um, letter stamps, and just stamp out a little bit of something. And then I take my tape, which I'm not going to do on camera, and just put it on the back of the card and stick it down. I, I eyeball it. And once you stick it down, you can take a pen, you can mark around the outside edge if you want another border, or you can just leave it like that. And that's that. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I can edit it at the Apple Store tomorrow, and maybe I will put it online. If you like it, subscribe. Thank you.